Hello and welcome back. Right, I'm going to keep this very brief so that it is the time lapse that I promised. Right, we're going to get the all of the field work done. We're going to keep it as simple as possible. You know what jobs need doing, so we're going to get all this done as straight away with all of our tractors. Now, did I take any contracts on? I can't remember. Oh no, because it's the cultivating. We said it was going to be a complete session itself. So no, it's just our field today. We're going to mulch, fertilise, do all that type of stuff. So without any further ado, I am going to say my words. I will see you guys and girls on the other side.
Right, I'm going to leave him doing that because I think, believe that's the last job. So let's have a quick look on the map, make sure I am right because I know what I'm like. We've, we've still got, even though I went all the way around the edge of the field, as you can see there's one on two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, about eight little marks, some, mostly around the edge with at least three little dots that weren't cultivated and he, I even went around and looked at them, so, so annoying, but it is what it is. Yeah, we've not missed an awful lot. I preemptively sprayed, but it did used to work early on in FS22. I tried it, but that doesn't mean to say it will anymore. I'm not sure. Things change. Oh, wow. Yeah, we have still missed a couple. Yeah, well, that's a bit more than I thought. Yeah, we may need to touch up with the grass. I hate seeing patches on grass fields. Absolutely hate it with passion. Right, okay, well, it's looking good though. So that is the last job, it truly is. What I thought we would do is um, have a little bit of fun now, if I'm honest. It's all work. We wish you the... The one thing I am going to say is, we when we do the cult of... Oh, that is a point. Do I want to speed things up? Do I want to help my neighbours in the next session? I think I do, yeah. So we are going to need to get... I think, let's have a quick look at that cultivator, I think. No, that's not a cultivator. Checking the horsepower requirements. Hundred and twenty. So yeah, we can safely get three going. Yeah, it might just about work on the small John Deere. Just yeah, we could get it on at least three, so we've got two. So what I am going to do is I'm going to order one. I'm going back to the shop. I'm not keep doing it. That was only uh, now. Then what should we have this one as? I don't want them all the same. I want uh, the reason I'm doing it not the same colours is so I can see if it's one that I've already touched while I'm looking at it or things like that. Not to be I know some people are very, let's have a go, oh, we've got a green and a yellow, I think, yeah, let's go for a blue. Right, so then, we're going to need to put a tractor on the back of that, we have our choice of lots, let's, fold. let's pick up one of those, doesn't matter which. back, run down, grab that from the store, bring it back. There is one thing I was thinking as well, this is a big map, so this is um, Swadro territory, it isn't really the little 8.4 meter, it really is, even though it might, I would imagine the cultivating is going to bring us quite a lot of uh, cash in, so if we treat yourselves and just say the payment for you know with the swadro is the thing you're going for and I'm really saving for a field but you've got to go for equipment first so yeah we'll grab that and we shall let next time we're just gonna go bash 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 through all those cultivating contracts um, with three machines all the time until we've literally destroyed the map of all any that are there, I mean if, if they do it themselves while we are waiting, while we're running through, that's that's all good and proper. But apart from that we shall rip through and pull to that. These see, oh of course we did actually spray in that and do an awful lot of work over this side of the map, didn't we? Although that looks like it still needs to in field 5. Yeah, this is just the talky stage, I've literally done all of the, aha! literally just finished all of our tasks so that is every single scrap of field work rolling mulching that is as thorough as i have ever ever been i've not missed anything i'm well chuffed actually about that because yeah for me that's good or oh, you usually miss the mulching or something silly like that yeah yeah this is the talky stage i'm not um, super time lapse in this bit would be silly we just need to grab these last little bits and bobs for next time really again this is as I've always said preparation for next time 
We won't grab the contracts, but we will definitely, yeah, get prepared so that everything's in the yard. I left that running. Very, very good of me. Shoot me near, Jim. No, sticking straight in the back. It's in faffing around, then it's actually ready to hit the road running, isn't it? Ah, I never thought of that, but yeah, that can actually go on the um, the back of the Valtra. Blue for blue. I didn't think of that either, that was a subconscious thing. I may have done subconsciously. These things are sometimes less than the uh, freak accident. I'm not a massive one for coincidences, never have been. Yeah, but the subconscious is. A powerful force, it really is. Always, well, I've always seen it throughout my life. It's surprising how your that subconscious personality within you has got a quite a good eye on things sometimes, according to some of the absolute experts in the subconscious. Probably a better eye than you yourself, your conscious personality. Yeah. Right, so then this is the last job, and I'm not going to speed things through. I was going to, I was going to go through till tomorrow so we could see the grass grow, but no, thinking about it. Our neighbours need our help, and that is got, that's got to come first. So we'll just put all of the cultivators ready for action on the tractors, and leave it at that. I may well use this as the ferry in, as we have with this one, to ferry the two slower tractors. Um, but then sometimes it depends on how close the fields are, the first fields, if they're just across the road or something, then I'm just going to literally, we'll go by our own steam. And for cultivating it's not truly like, all we need is wages, um, and cultivators and a tractor obviously, but you know, there's no additional, no fertiliser, no, nothing to fill. So yeah, I think we'll... Uh, this is the TLX 2020, I don't regret this, this is just reminds me so much of Lone Oak, I used to use the TLX 2020, I'd add the, uh, I'm going to see actually if you can put the big swampies on this one, I used to love those, it's fantastic, cost of fortune, but they are nice, I don't know if they do make any difference grit wise, but yeah, definitely, definitely nice. Right, we will also get some sheep. Just not run right there. Yeah, we'll get all the cultivating off, and I think we should set them going. In fact, we might start them next year, at the beginning of the year, if I'm honest. Although I suppose now it still gets. Yeah, it probably is. Oh, actually, I never realised actually it wasn't done for that. This, and I have noticed it is a, a very John Deere centric. That's, that is by mistake, it's not like by intention, not that I have anything against John Deere's or I wouldn't be, if I did I wouldn't be having this set up here, but no, I've got nothing against John Deere's at all, but this is, yeah, a very strong John Deere lineup, and I do mean very strong John Deere lineup, but yeah, let's grab the big one. Yellow's taken. Yeah, I didn't realise, but obviously the green and yellow again. Very strange, because I didn't even know that I was going to be so strong. I mean, I had two John Deere's by that stage, I think. Yeah, now we've got three. Right, let's get the Voltra. Yeah, I know they're not true. It's not the true John Deere green, but it's still green and yellow. Did I leave it on the field? Uh, of course I did, yes, I did. Always oh, misses a little patch, let's just get it. Oh, unless it's double fertilised, we'll just check as we go in. Doesn't hurt to put the splash on, does it? Yeah, it is, it's one of those patches where. Is this one as well? Yeah, it is. Okay. Yeah, all of that is smashing. Okay. 
as long as we double fertilize I'm happy yeah there's going to be I think bits where I need to there are a couple of bits down here which I thought I've been really thorough yeah they are I can see them actually now one two three little tiny dots there although they they might not be but those one two three there are definitely and there's a bit on the edge of the field as well oh well it's not perfect wow ten percent just on that that's so fantastic this is absolutely amazing never seen a spreader like it not in FS19 nor FS22 this is definitely in my opinion the best if you pitted this against all others in a scientific test I swear this one would come off the best truly stick that at the back we should stick the Vulture on its blue coordinator Especially bought for a wall, what in clean that did I? Oh well. Clean everything else. I did clean the voucher a few minutes ago, but yeah, it's looking a bit okay. Oh I think it's the weight and anything looking at it. Right. Our three heroes poised for battle next time. In that mighty lineup with that okay. Oh yeah. Yeah, I know it's, it says New Holland, yeah smash it and there we go that is our weapons next time for the cultivating contracts of which there are quite a number yes this is going to be it may well take a couple of sessions to be honest because some of those fields are monsters i mean even with three implements that's going to take some time bearing in mind if we just have a very quick look at the sort of field size as we're talking these are i mean look at 24 to zoom out. Oh, the triggers are working today. Wow. I mean, look, if we've got... This, let's just have a look. For 20 to 24. Please don't tell me what... Oh, oh my life, we have. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I know they're a lot of money, but boy, are they going to take some time. <gasps> that is the job. And they've got islands. And there's such weird... Now that will truly be a test of course play. Definitely. So we've got some of these smaller ones. These 17 and 18 ones I noticed over that end. So we're literally crossing the road. So yeah, we, we did help ours. And it does seem that the ones that we did start where we were doing jobs around us are actually working. It really is... Yeah, all of these others... Oh, he says. <laughs> yeah. One, two, three, four... Let's have a quick look. Yeah, I was right. Although I think five has been harvested now. Although we know we did work on that. Yeah, it has. But the others are growing. Yeah, so all of this up end is all good. Whereas all of that far end is terrible. So although, well, no, not all. There's the odd one that is okay. Yeah, so there's the odd one that's just been ploughed as well. Wow, smashing. Okay, but this is what we have got to do next time. Mainly that central thing at least we'll be moving from one field to another that's the good news anyway no more waffling this is an anti-waffle zone this particular let's play so without any further ado we know what we're doing next time we've got ready and i'm going to say uh, thank you very much for continuing on this journey with me and i hope you are going to continue i think Oh no, I'm not going to say growth. Yeah, there is growth. Uh, yeah, from the get-go, we have literally... I mean, we're improving tractors, equipment, bit by bit. And obviously, multiple implements on this one. We've not gone big, but we've gone big in another way, which personally is my weapon of choice. We need massive tractors to go big, and we would need multiple massive tractors to go big. So that would cost millions. This is quite a comfortable way to get quite a massive cultivator as big as one of the 700 horsepower tractors but yes I'm paying more wages I understand but it's not cost me 4 million in 3 700 700,000 tractors then three cultivators at how expensive they are we are talking a very very large chunk of change I prefer my way definitely I've still got as bigger than any cultivator with those three if we buy another tractor which 
is probably, as I said, the other one's the yard tractor. It really is, but it does, it pulls its weight most definitely. It pulls in a, quite a lot of these side tasks, but yeah, I think another tractor at some point is definitely in order, but we need land first, we need to expand. I don't want to be working on that grass field forever, that's just, it is the smallest field, well, this end next to us. So if, oh, we want a grass field for the sheep that we're going to get and hay and all, yeah, hay, sheep, cows as well for total mixed ration. I would like to actually do my own. I always buy so far in FS22. I've only had cows on one let's play. Oh, I'm waffling again. So, yeah, I suppose it is, it is an explanation. It's growth. It's where I'm, I'm trying to think of this going and telling you the plans. I don't, it's not just the stagnant. We're just going to do you know a field forever because it's not or our money keeps on going up and down because obviously we keep buying bits and bobs track that tractor there those cultivators there those cedars the roller all of these things um yeah are all the yeah, the anderson trailer that we bought last time so yeah this this all oh, no no oh do you know i thought i made a terrible mistake then and i've got a square baler I was thinking, you plonker the Anderson, it's for round bales, but no, we have a round baler. Smash it. Right, so yes, without any further ado, I am going to say goodbye for now. <laughs>